Akshan Sharma says, does India also have a nuclear football or something like POTUS has with himself? Also, can the PM, Prime Minister of India, give the direct command to fire nuclear missiles? Binge watch and learn about geopolitics on Ask Abhijit Clips. Subscribe now. Okay, what is this nuclear football? Let's take a look at nuclear football. Let me put that on the screen. So the nuclear football is a briefcase. Let's, uh, let me put that on the screen nuclear football it's a briefcase that uh, always travels with the u.s president that's typically what it looks like it's carried by military personnel it's uh, that's what it looks like and this this briefcase contains a device that has all the nuclear launch codes it is what enables the u.s president to if required launch a nuclear strike or retaliatory strike or attack from anywhere in the world using the contents of this briefcase. So it will have a device which enables the president to do this. And this device is supposed to travel with the US president everywhere he goes. It should always be in close proximity to the US president because the US president is the only person who has who has the authorization to, to launch or, or, to, or to authorize a nuclear strike. That's what the nuclear football is. Uh, I remember an incident in, I think, 2017 when President Trump visited China and uh, he was supposed to go to the Great Hall of the People or whatever it's called in Beijing, this big, big, big hall and give a speech there. And his uh, his entourage contained, uh, I mean, they had the nuclear football with them and the Chinese were trying to prevent them from bringing this device into the Great Hall of the People. And there was an actual physical altercation, a scuffle between the security personnel of China and the US and eventually the Chinese had to apologize and they allowed the nuclear football to be brought with President Trump inside the, inside the hall. So this demonstrates that this device is supposed to always be very close to the US president wherever he is when this is something that he that goes with him whenever he travels outside of the white house in the white house there is a proper command structure or whatever from where he can launch he can authorize a nuclear strike otherwise this device travels with him now the question obviously is so now that we understand what the nuclear football is i don't know why they call it a football but whatever Maybe that's how it's shaped inside. We don't know. So the question is, does India also have something like this? Uh, does the Prime Minister of India also have such uh, a device that is always clo in close proximity to him? I have seen oftentimes Indian security personnel, the highest authorization security personnel, who are in the immediate entourage of the Prime Minister of India. I have seen, I have witnessed them also at times carrying a big bulky briefcase. Wherever Mr. Modi goes, there will be one, one gentleman, very dressed very, very sharply, dark suit, uh, dark glasses, something in the ear, device in the ear, and that gentleman will be carrying a large briefcase. So I don't know what that is, but it looks like India may also have some such device. I mean, it makes sense for India to, to for the president, for the prime minister to travel with a device like that so that uh, a nuclear strike can be launched if required ever. I hope it never happens, but the option always has to be there uh, so as far as i know in india it is only the prime minister who can give the direct command to launch a nuclear strike the president of india is a ceremonial position no real power the president doesn't have the authorization or the power to do that and neither does any other politician it's only the prime minister who can give the direct command and then the command will be executed i believe by elements within the indian armed forces the actual strike so what sort of missile to launch where it is supposed to to which places is it supposed to go visit, pay a visit to, uh, what is the, you know, the the yield of the nuclear weapon, all those calibrations, all those, all those things will be already programmed into the device if it exists. So yeah, I think it is possible that the Indian Prime Minister may also have such a device. I don't think they have ever answered this question or, or given any statement to this effect. But one does see whenever Modi, Prime Minister Modi travels that somebody carries an, a briefcase kind of, uh, kind of thing. Uh, very close to him. I've, I've seen that on, on a number of occasions. So in the case of the US, we know they have such a device, the nuclear football. India may possibly have it. When President Putin of Russia travels, I, I don't think I've noticed anyone carrying them. Maybe they keep it very discreet. It makes a lot of sense for Mr. Putin to also travel with a device like that. Because, you know, when when the leader travels abroad, that's, that's actually the best time to, to launch an attack on a nation. So I think possibly Russia may also have it. Which are, the other, which are the other nations that have nuclear weapons? Uh, we know it's the US, Russia, India. We spoke about them. China has it. Uh, China has nuclear weapons. France, UK, Israel, North Korea, and Pakistan. 
Pakistan is a rogue state, obviously. The Pakistani Prime Minister, I don't think, has the authority to launch nuclear attacks. It's only the army chief who would have it, I suppose. In North Korea, I'm sure it's Mr. Kim Jong-un who has the authority to do it. He rarely, if ever, travels out of the country. So we don't know if he has such a device. When it comes to Israel, the Prime Minister of Israel does travel a lot. I'm not sure. I suppose it's the Prime Minister who should have the authority. But once again, Israel is not a self-declared nuclear state. We know they have nuclear weapons, but they have never declared it officially. So we don't know what the, what the status is. When it comes to the UK, I don't think the UK Prime Minister has the launch codes for their nuclear missiles. The UK is nothing but an extension of the US, especially foreign policy, military policy. So I think, uh, and we know that the US, UK's nuclear weapons, the British nuclear weapons, are mated to American missiles, ballistic missiles. So it only makes sense that the launch codes for those missiles will actually be in the hands of the US president rather than the UK's prime minister. So the UK is a, is a nominal nuclear power, but I don't think the UK prime minister actually has the power to launch a nuclear attack. When it comes to France, I am sure the French president, Monsieur Macron, would have the authority to launch a nuclear strike, but I have not seen, as far as I know, any such device travel with him. And I haven't seen such a thing travel with Mr. Xi Jinping either. But I'm sure they all have the ability to, to launch a nuclear strike if required from anywhere in the world. It makes sense for them to have such a capability or such a device that travels with them.